Welcome back. Today we're talking about dogs and simple homemade toys. Uh, if you are like me, you may have found that over the years your dog does not respond to toys like this that you spent $10 a piece for. However, she may respond to a big fat piece of chicken which my little girl just found. So, over time, about two months, it, uh, it was obvious that she was not going to be a girl who just chews on stuff just to chew on stuff. She is a treat driven dog. So I'm going to show you today some very easy homemade toys you can make for your dog without a lot of expense. Now inside the toys I am putting some little treats. I'm going to use some peanut butter and I'll just put these down. You can see she won't even look at them. I'm going to use some chicken, dry chicken made in the USA, always buy made in the USA uh, for this product. Don't buy stuff from China. If it doesn't proudly say made in the USA, it's probably from somewhere else because it's such an issue. So you can know that if you're looking for USA, it's going to say it on it if it's made here. And the last one is her favorite since she was a baby, Charlie Bears. Three calories or so a piece. They're great. Yep, three calories a treat. So if your dog is, struggles with weight issues, which she does not, um, these are perfect. And maybe this is part of why she doesn't struggle with weight issues. I'm going to show you some really easy toys you can make. The first one is actually remarkably simple. It's a little corner or joint of PVC. This little guy, I take, sit, and I'm going to put just a little bit of peanut butter in each of the little corners. This is a really great treat because it's inexpensive and it uses stuff you have right in your house. So if you ever run out of treats for your little guy, um, you can easily put something together just using this. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little ornamentation of a Charlie Bear stuffed into one of those. Now I always make her work for her treats, so I'm going to have her shake, good girl, and then give her her little yummy. Now, all she's going to do, go ahead, all she's going to do is just lick a little bit of that peanut butter out of there and try to get the little Charlie Bear out while Mama enjoys a little peanut butter as well. Next one that I've created uses one piece of uh, actually produced uh, pet treat, uh, which is a Kong. And because it's so easy for her to get the Kong out, and maybe for many of you, your dogs are like this too, we have upped the ante by putting a piece of dried chicken in it and then putting it in a sock. So I'm going to put it inside the sock, and she's actually so good at this. I'm going to drop it in, and I have to tie a knot, or she'd have it out in a second. So I'm going to tie a knot, Phoebe down, down, and she gets She untied the knot. She's getting her little chicken reward. She's learned how to work with this thing. It hasn't taken her long to figure out exactly how to make it work. And uh, now she's just kind of playing with the Kong like any other dog would. But notice that I actually put it inside a sock and had to tie a knot in the sock and she still got it out that fast. The girl is a hard worker. So that's another piece of our little yum yums. While she works away at that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you our last treat option. I'm going to get her sock and we're going to take this up a notch again. I'm going to have her sit, sit, so she always has to behave a little bit. I'm going to pull off two smaller size pieces, maybe half the size of a postage stamp for my little girl, bigger for your dog. You can put half the chicken in here if you want and I'm going to put it down into the fingers. This is her longest term one and I'm going to take it, fold it up, put it inside the sock. Shake, go girl, and find it. That's her release word that lets her know it's okay for her to go and start working. So on this one, it's a little different kind of work required. She has to be a little more patient. You can hear her snuffling. She's working at it like it's a Kong, but it doesn't quite end up the same. Over the years, we've actually had to put a Kong in, tie a knot, put the glove in, turn the sock inside out, and then, <laughs> and then give it to her because she's so good. So you saw how far down that guy was in into the sock. She already got it out. If I were leaving her alone for a while, I would give her this with a knot tied in it, but I wanted her to get it out pretty quickly. Another thing that she'll do is she will sometimes bring it to me like help me and sometimes it's truly stuck but other times uh, she just is bored or frustrated and then I'll pick it up act like I'm fiddling with it and give it back to her and that kind of restarts her again. <laughs>
Another important reason for having treats like this is if your dog suffers from separation anxiety like Phoebe does, uh, you'll find that they'll do much better if they have projects. And a project that's too easy or something like this that doesn't have any kind of purpose behind it or reward um, isn't for every dog. So this kind of a, a little glove project, a Kong inside a sock, or even just peanut butter in the corners of a PVC joint um, can be a perfect way to keep them inspired, keep them encouraged, uh, keep them occupied while you're away, and then finally when you get home you can celebrate um, with them that they did such a good job, especially for those of you who have dogs who do a lot of chewing. Uh, this is a more cerebral kind of engagement. So thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed our time together. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and share with a friend, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.